Today, Terry and I are gonna be showing you a new product that we're gonna be doing to put on my new splitter, my new ZR1 splitter on my C7 Corvette. Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. Today, Terry and I are gonna be showing you a new product that we're gonna be doing to put on my new splitter, my new ZR1 splitter on my C7 Corvette. Um, they don't really make a, uh, a skid protection for this big massive splitter. Um, so uh, Sliplow is a company that they actually make a, a product that allows you to be able to adjust it to whatever your needs are so you can get the ultimate protection underneath the car. Um, I just replaced this today. You can see it's like super shiny. There's nothing, it's never been on the ground yet. And I just don't want to have all the scrapes and scratches on it that I had on my last one that I pulled off. I just scraped the heck out of all this over here. And I just don't want that again. So, um, so anyway, uh, Slip Blow uh, has uh, decided to sponsor the channel today. Uh, and I'm, Terry and I are going to show you how this is put on, how we're doing it. There's no right or wrong on how you do it. This is a matter of preference on how you want to do it. Um, so uh, with the kit, um, Terry's going to hold that for me. It comes with the instruction sheet, okay? And it comes with the adhesion promoter that you're going to need uh, to be able, we're going to wipe all that down and make sure that this stuff sticks. But then the trick with this whole thing is the fact that it will bend and curve to however you need it. And so you can stick it right up there, you can bend it, you can do it however you want. And so we'll be able to go all the way around, all the way across the front of it where it's completely covered. Now this, this is the smaller box. This is the one that most people will use. It has it comes with 10 of these. And um, we've already kind of laid it out before we did it, and that's going to be more than enough. Okay, so uh, go ahead and sit back and watch. We're going to go ahead and we're going to cover this. Now, this hasn't been, um, we haven't rehearsed this in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> so uh, we're going to do our best to get it right the first time, and um, I'm sure we'll end up with a really, really great product when we're done. And I'm not going to have all these scrapes here in a couple of days after I drive the car. So sit back and watch, and um, we'll show you how it's done. It actually goes on kind of easy. It's just like running a sponge yep. over stuff. And I wouldn't worry about getting it on another edge because it dries clear. Right. Terry, why don't you go ahead and why don't you go ahead and put them on this here. bottom right here on the bottom edge of that? Because if we if can, we we'll, into things. Yeah, I seem to tear those edges up, and those are a little more aggressive than the ones I've had in the past. So, yeah, we can do yeah. that. And you got, in other words, Scott is running this a different way. That's it. Yeah. There we go. Which is probably good because he's the one that runs over things. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. When you start putting this on, just barely touch it. You don't have to shove it on real hard and get it nice and lined up. And it'll form to these corners. Just a little bit. And you just keep running it out as such. There you go. Now, I want to look at it, see if I got my kind of eighth inch, basically pretty close all the way around. And then you just go along and Put it on. I'm going to work one way and then go the other one. So this one here is the next one, and you can see how it doesn't really, if you put these two together or so, it doesn't bend like that. So, what I want to do, I want to put a cut right around in this area right here, right next to where this one is. But I want to put a cut because it's not exactly in the right spot. All this is doing is making it easy to bend in that curve. 
I use these because I don't have a good pair of scissors. And these work just fine. Should be enough. I want to check it before I do this to get it to bend because I got to cut this part out and I want to make sure I don't cut too much of it out. So let's just take this. I don't want to pull the tape off yet until I get this fitted. The other thing you could probably use on this is a razor blade, an X-Acto knife like type of thing. Mm -hmm. A good pair of scissors will really do it. Okay, one more little cut this way. Okay. Now, what I'm trying to do is to get this to match there and bend. If you'll notice, that's kind of what I've just done. If it goes like that, and then well, that'll work perfect. Okay. Now we pull the tape off. This is usually Scott's job, but this is thick stuff, so I can get a hold of it. <laughs> okay. Now gently put these two together so that they keep that line and then form this. And like I say, don't push real hard on it yet until you get it to where you want to line it up. Oh well, yeah, that way you can pull it loose a just, little bit if you need to. Just gently put it on there. Like I'm getting it where I want it, but it's not just exactly where I want it. So we'll push it up. Push it up. It's looking pretty good right there. For the first time I've ever done this, I don't yeah. know. What do you think? Not too shabby, right? <laughs> yeah. And that's from the bottom of the car. It's got to look good from the top, that's for sure. I like this one. This is just a straight one. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> yeah, we pick him up later. Now it's just basically the same thing, line your edges up, just kind of... Yeah, so you're just really. lightly tacking it on place, and then once you get it where you want it... That's pretty good, Scott. Yeah, that looks great. Okay, let me start going on the bottom. I'm just kind of putting fingerprints all over because I want Scott yeah. to clean it. <laughs> So now what I see, what I see is being able to just go straight here like this. Straight, you know, right there, and we just have to dial it into that corner. Yeah, I think I think we can get that to yep. just because if, if even if it's just a little bit back, yep. I think we'll be all right. So what we want to do is we want to get this yep. to turn again. Yep. So what is, see how it goes straight. How to do this actually is just if you take and cut this corner off like this. Mm -hmm. That'll allow this to bend. It'll actually bend almost in itself. But I want to cut a little off. Yeah, just a little just, bit to get a little, a little bit Just a little bit so it's got it. Oh, but okay. maybe just a little. I'll okay. go for a little. Okay. It's just cutting this corner off of it. There you go. I like this stuff. This I like this that tape. I do like this <laughs> tape. That is for sure. <laughs> Okay, now you want to line this up straight. Okay, I'm just going to hold my thumb right here to get this to bend. Okay. And then just kind of work it this way. And this should come up so it just ended at the end. Of it. I 
can't get over how strong that adhesive is. That's crazy stuff. And that's why you don't want to really press down on it as you're putting it in here. Because when you get to the bins, you could kind of press a little bit just to get it to get that shape. It's, that's why you don't want to press on it hard. Now just kind of look at it and see if it's pretty straight and then start doing that little thing with your fingers. And they also say to leave this for like 48 hours without getting it wet. Don't drive it in the rain, Scott. Right, yeah, yeah. Don't don't wash your car. Don't drive in the rain. That's right. Uh, I I think I'm gonna be gonna be lucky here. Terry's losing his hat. I think I'm gonna be lucky. It's been raining the last couple of days, but it dried it's up cold today. Out here. It is cold. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you want um, the shop is just a little bit over 60 degrees right now, but um, you definitely want it to be at least 60 degrees or higher for the the bonding to, to take good effect. So um, you don't want to do it, you know, when it's super, super cold. Okay. Now we've got one more we've got to do some cutting on. Which, this one almost is enough. But just for purpose, we want to cut this corner off. Okay. Right? That's good. Straight. Okay. This is this, and this I think. Let me cut just a corner off of this just to be safe. What it is, I don't want these two touching and not being able to get the radius that I want. So all I do is I just cut this corner off. You can get quite a bend on those. That's yeah. really, yeah, that's awesome. I want that one to go down a little bit. There we go. Let's just do some sticky stuff. Exacto. That is amazing. Well, this guys, I'm gonna start over on this one edge and take a look at this all the way around. While Terry's cutting that edge there. Look at that, isn't that great? And it just goes all the way down and around. Trims it out really nice. Looks really good. Razor knife and clean that up. And he's just gonna cut these little ears off all the way down and then it's done. So guys, you can see, you can get this thing really, really custom. 
just you know just make sure you prep your area get it nice and clean um, and then take your time put them in place plan out your plan it out how you're doing it and then once you do that you're good as good as gold um, I don't think I could have bought any other product that would have done any better than this this is awesome Actually, it worked out better than I thought it was going to do. I thought I was going to be here for hours. Yeah, no, this, I mean, you guys are pretty much seeing this in real time. We've had to stop stop the camera a couple times, but... Uh, that was because of my mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, we've, uh, I mean, you see it, it's done. So... Um, now you want to let it down and see what it looks like from the top. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this looks great, though. It's actually rather easy. <laughs> I mean, with no preparation we did or nothing, we just started doing it. I know. That was, real, that was cool. Yep, we just pulled it out of the box and started doing it. And as you can see, guys, you know, you could see it before, but by tucking it up just that eighth of an inch, you can't even see it. Look at that. We're, we're going, we're not even all the way to the bottom yet. So from the bottom, she's invisible. Look at that. Didn't that look awesome, guys? Wow. Oh, you didn't even see it. Nope. You can't even see that that's there. Nope, you sure can't. Looks totally awesome. All right, it's protected. Right. So guys, that's how easy it is to be able to put on the slip blow product on the bottom of your splitter or the bottom of your bumper. Um, this has probably been one of the easiest installations that Terry and I have ever done. Uh, it was very self-explanatory. It did come with an instruction booklet that walks you through the process. Like I said, it even gives you a website address to be able to go to, to be able to get the how-to videos. Um, just, you know, just take your time with it. You'll be able to dial it in exactly the way you want. Um, so, like I said, we'll, I'll know more when we, I start to drive it, but um, I can't see. But we've already put it down on the ground, and I'll take some pictures of it on the ground. But I wanted you to be able to see what it looks like. It, it looks nice underneath. It goes on really easy. And um, I'm hoping that it's going to protect my splitter from now on. And I don't end up with these big old chunks out of my splitter. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. If you've subscribed, great. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Hit that little bell button so you'll be notified of our next uploads. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Put them in the comments section. I always answer all the comments. Um, so if I'll, you know, I can tell you how it's going to be. I can get, you know, you can ask me a few weeks down the road. Hey, how's it going? I can tell you how the product is holding up and how and what it's doing. So, um, guys, again, thank you for watching, and you have a great night.